welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be making baked sushi. Let's start cooking the rice. First, you'll need two cups of rice. Once you're done adding two cups of rice, we're going to be washing our rice. So then it can become clean. Once you're done washing your rice, we're going to put it inside of the rice cooker. Here is the fish that we bought at Produce Depot. It is some salmon and also it's very fresh. Later on in this video, I'm going to add this salmon inside of the baked sushi. And then I'm going to cut the salmon into three pieces and season them with salt and pepper. And then I'm just going to rub it in so then it really sticks onto the salmon. Then I'm going to flip the salmon and season the other side with salt and pepper as well. Then I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on both sides of the salmon after. And I'm going to do that to all of the salmon. Before I put the salmon in the oven, of course I have to wash my hands because my hands have some olive oil on them and because I also touched the fish. And also stay safe and make sure to wash your hands as well. And then after I'm done seasoning them, I'm going to put them in my small toaster oven for 10 minutes. This is what the salmon looks like once it's done. It's not too cooked because I don't like my salmon dry and we're going to put it in the oven again so it doesn't need to be too cooked. You just want to bake the salmon enough so it can be shredded. I'm going to start shredding it into pieces with two forks. And once I'm done shredding all of the salmon, I'm going to start picking out all of the bones from the salmon because you don't want to be eating that. The next thing I'm going to be doing is unwrapping the imitation crab meat. If you guys don't know where to buy imitation crab meat, I just bought mine at an Asian supermarket. I'm going to shred the imitation crab meat with a fork. Make sure to do it on both sides. I'm just going to be shredding the crab meat with a fork. I'm not going to be slicing it up into small pieces afterwards with a knife. Of course, you could do that if you'd want to, but I'm just going to be shredding it with a fork. Jump down and have a fight And that's all we'll ever like But that can never change my mind When it's good Next, 
step is to separate the crab meat with your fingers and also make sure you have a bowl so then you can put your crab meat inside. to start preparing the rice. The first thing I'm going to be adding into the rice is one tablespoon of sesame oil. Then I'm going to be adding one fourth cup of rice vinegar. Once you're done adding the rice vinegar and the sesame oil, we're going to start mixing the rice together. But first, I'm going to just separate the rice. So then, it can be easier to mix. Now that the rice is done being mixed, I'm going to flatten it out. This is what the rice looks like once it's done. Since the rice is finished, I'm going to start making the cream cheese smooth. I'm mashing the cream cheese up with a fork. And I'm just going to keep mashing it until it becomes soft and smooth. As you can see, the cream cheese has turned into a different texture and it's much smoother now and much softer. Since the cream cheese is finished, I'm going to start combining all of the ingredients together. First, I have the crab meat, and then I'm going to start adding the salmon we baked. Adding the salmon, I'm going to start adding the cream cheese. And then I'm going to add in one fourth cup of Japanese mayonnaise. Spring onions. And then once we're done adding the spring onions, I'm going to start mixing everything up. And this is what it looks like once it's done. And then I'm just going to sprinkle some seaweed with some sesame seeds on top of the rice. And then I'm going to add all of the ingredients that we combined together in the bowl on top of the seaweed with the rice. And once everything is covered up, I'm going to start flattening it with a rice scooper. Everything is smelling really good and I just can't wait to try it. And then I'm going to just add some black caviar on top as well. 
It's already looking so good. I can't wait to tell you guys how it tastes. I'm just going to put it in the oven at 350 Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Here is what our big sushi looks like. I just want to add something like a little bit of garnish. So I'm just going to add some cucumbers. I'm also going to be adding some fresh mangoes with the fresh cucumbers. And I'm also going to be adding some avocados. And I'm also going to add a drizzle of the Japanese mayonnaise. We hold each other high, but we fall a thousand times. But I never say goodbye. And now I'm just going to slice it into little pieces. This is what the baked sushi looks like once it's done. Time to try the baked sushi. This is what the baked sushi looks like once it's done. I can't wait to try it. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This baked sushi has so many flavors, it's like an explosion to your mouth.
I didn't expect baked sushi to taste so good because I also like sushi raw. To everybody who doesn't like raw sushi, this is the recipe for you. Baked sushi was first originated in the Philippines. When my aunt first told me about baked sushi, I got a little bit confused because I'm like, what's baked sushi? So then I decided to try it out and it turned out really well, so I decided to vlog it. This baked sushi is really good for celebrations like birthday parties or family gatherings. It has all of the flavors you'd expect from a typical roll, but baked. Imagine a casserole eaten like a taco, but it's sushi. Just give me a moment to admire the taste of this baked sushi. Wow, this sushi is so good. I think I might even like it better than raw sushi. I wish you were here so then you could try this recipe out. As you guys can see, I couldn't stop eating the baked sushi since it was that good. Anyways, I give this two thumbs up. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please don't forget to click that notification bell to be notified when I post my next video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye!